Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to quickly make a subscribe button click animation green screen to use in your videos. So this is very quick and easy. You can see on my screen the two apps that I'm going to be using for this tutorial. Um, you can have similar apps or just the apps that I'm mentioning right now, but this is the main apps that I'm going to be using. Before we get started, make sure you click on the subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you don't miss out on any other uploads. YouTube keeps reminding me that over 90% of you guys are not subscribed yet, so I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is creating my green screen background, and I just do this in Over. You can do it whichever app you want. You can even use Fonto, and well, there's endless amount of apps to do this. So what I do is I'm going to go into over and once I'm in over, I'm going to click on this plus button down here and click on transparent. And then I'm just going to find this size. That's the YouTube thumbnail size, since that works for videos as well. And then I'm going to click on the correction mark. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap anywhere on the canvas and click on edit and go down here to color and then click on the color wheel and then just find green. So this is the green I'm going to go with. It's pretty solid, um, pretty bright. So I'm going to go with this green and then I'm just going to click on the correction mark up here and export this image to use for my background. Now we're going to go over to Video Leap. So like I said, you can use any app for just creating the background, but Video Leap is my favorite because of the amount of animations and things you can do in Video Leap. So I'm going to start a new project by clicking on the plus button here. And then I'm going to select the green screen that we just created and select add to project. So now you'll see I have my green screen here and it only is about three seconds, but I'm going to make it longer by tapping on it and then dragging it out. Um, here you can see the time. I'm just going to go for about 10 seconds. And now we're going to start adding in the rest of our project. So, so the other things you want is a subscribe button PNG and a mouse click. PNG. So to find these, you can just search on Safari subscribe button PNG and find the one with the transparent background. And then you can just also search for a mouse pointer PNG. And then, yeah, you just need to find those because there are so many different types. I'm going to be using my favorite ones. So now we're going to add in the images. So I'm going to click on mixer down here. And then we're going to import the subscribe button. So this is my subscribe button. Pretty straightforward. Um, I'm just going to resize it a bit so it's bigger. You can even just make it here in the corner if you're working on something like iMovie where you can't move your green screen around. So I'm just going to be using the bigger one. But if you can't move your green screen around, I recommend placing it on where you want your green screen to come in. Anyway, so I'm just placing it however I'd like it. And then we're going to start animating it. So right now it's just going to appear, which is kind of boring. So I'm going to click down here on animation and then I'm going to go ahead and go to the in animations. And here are a few you can choose from. So you have slide up, slide down. You can choose which one works best for you. I just don't like how it fades like that. You see, I just want like a solid coming up. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do keyframing. Now, keyframing is a hard thing to understand, but once you understand it, you have so many possibilities. So keyframing is using this option right here. That's how you use keyframing in Video Leap. So I'm going to remove that animation. I'm going to move my subscribe button off of the screen and drag it to the beginning of my clip. Okay, the timeline, this little line here, move it to the beginning of where your, where your overlay starts to appear and then tap on the keyframing tool, tap on it. And then you've created one keyframe. Okay, you'll see it's also here, that little keyframing symbol. Now, this depends on how fast you want it to come into your project. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move my timeline a bit to say here. So that's a few seconds. And then I'm going to bring it up and position it where I want it to appear. So now, as you can see, we've created our own little animation with keyframing. So you set a starting position and an ending position. So that's what keyframing is. You're animating your own things. So I'm gonna click play. So that sound, that's a good duration for it to slide up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and insert my mouse click. So I'm gonna click on mixer. And now I have my mouse click here and I'm gonna do the same and create my own animation for this. So I'm gonna pull it off of the screen like so, so you can see it's not visible. And then I'm gonna click on the keyframing button again. Then I'm gonna drag it the direction I want it to come in. So now I'm dragging it here. I'm going to rotate it a bit as well. So now this is what the animation looks for that. 
So you can see it comes in with a little angle as well because I rotated it. But now I don't want to end there. Now what I'm going to do to make it look like it's clicking, I'm going to add another keyframe. So pass a few seconds and then make it smaller so it looks like it's clicking. Pass a few seconds, make it bigger again. And now I'm just going to move it here and then move it out. So now it's going to automatically keep adding keyframes whenever you change something about it after a few seconds because you're already keyframing. So this is what it looks like now. It's a bit fast paced. So this is basically trial and error. So maybe I don't want it to click as fast. Maybe I want it to pause a bit like here, then click, then move out. So basically how you remove keyframes, you see here, it has now a minus next to the keyframe button where here it has a plus. So I'm gonna click the minus so it removes that keyframe. And I'm just gonna continue doing this until I find my desired look. So as you can see, you can even remove keyframes within. So I have this and then I still have my out keyframe here. I'm just gonna remove that one as well. So now let's continue on editing this. So let's play. So as you can see, this is pretty long. I'm gonna stop there add the minimization so it looks like it's clicking i think that's a long enough click and then make it bigger again and then that's long enough to make it go out let's play this again i mean that's pretty good i feel like it's still a bit fast i think there needs to be a bigger gap between this and then the click actually i have an idea so here it stops and as you can see it goes to here and it doesn't pause before it starts making it smaller it immediately goes from bigger to smaller so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna again remove some of these keyframes again i'm gonna add another keyframe here and just click on this plus button i'm not gonna change anything about this size i'm just gonna click on the plus button so then it just saves that and then i'm gonna start the click so click zoom bigger and then zoom out so now this is what it's gonna look like as you see, it had a little pause before it goes smaller because I had that keyframe that's identical to this keyframe, as you can see. So this ending position of this keyframe from here to here, it ended here. And then I just made that keyframe again so it lasts a little longer. Then it moves on to the, making it bigger and smaller. I think we can even add a little pause here as well. So what we're gonna do, again, we're just gonna click on this plus button here and then make the out animation. So this is what it looks like now. I feel like that looks better than I expected it. This is quick and easy. I'm not gonna go into much detail. You can take so long to do this to get your precise timing and everything. But that's the basics of this. So how I make this and then once you're done with your mouse going out, go back to your subscribe button and just make the out animation. So again, I'm gonna click on a keyframe here and then move it out. So this is what it's gonna look like. So now let's play this video again. That's it. I know this is a bit fast, but like I said, you can do your own timing, put as many pauses as you want in between. But this is the hardest thing to explain, keyframing. Like, I still don't really know how to explain it to people. But you're animating your own things. You're putting in step by step. So, again, you add your keyframe at the beginning, animate it to where you want it to stop, add another animation. If you want it to freeze, you just add another empty keyframe by just adding it, it with the plus button that appears next to the keyframing option but don't move anything and then just keep doing this i feel like if you watch someone do this it's pretty easy to like understand but yeah explaining it's a whole different thing but that's how you basically make your own green screen i feel like this just gives you so much more versatility so if you just use the animations that they give you in this app it might be a bit harder to really get the look you're looking for but when you use keyframing you're free to do whatever you want you can add how many keyframes and different animations as you want because you're doing it with your own like sense of style and whatever so keyframing i feel like like i said it's very important and helpful once you get the hang of it so yeah 
that's how you make your own subscribe button click and then in editing you can just add your mouse click sound effect um, when it clicks and then you're good to go so i hope you understand what i did here i hope it helped you guys i'm so sorry if it was super confusing i really hope it wasn't so yeah if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and comment down below any questions you might have for me and definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all of my other youtube tips and tricks videos so that's other tutorials and things like this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye